Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Star Trek Legends on the Apple Arcade for Apple TV. So we're loading up here. They need to access, I guess, what my data potentially. It's needed for multiplayer gameplay. So that yeah, they're always doing something where they want to track you, I guess, for a lot of these games. Alright, so the game is loading up here. Not much of a menu option. I think I'm gonna click on controllers. There's controller support available, so I'm using my Steel Series Nimbus. Support, allow for support, please email Star Trek Legends. So I think that leaves me with a new game here. Find my save slot. So we got a little bit of a load screen going on here. Never been much of a Star Trek fan to be honest. Haven't seen many, if any of the movies. Maybe bits and pieces of some of the Star Trek movies. But I've never been too into the story or you know that entire sort of uh, series. Okay, so they're giving us an alert here on target morale. Okay, we have Mikhail Burnham, it looks like is her name. I think she's probably our lead character. Cardassian security, Kardashian security, however you want to pronounce it. Again, I don't know if that's a, a new name or if that name has always kind of been with the series. The Cardassian. Alright, press X to launch an attack. It gives me my enemies or minions too. And okay, she takes two shots at the uh, the enemy here. Crew, crew members have powerful skills. Okay, we got a different angle here. All right, she really unloaded that time. Okay, Mikhail, you are the USS Artemis. I don't know that name. Something's preventing me from beaming out. Send some crew over to help me. Alright, so we have another cut here. More loading. Okay, so we have a lot of different sort of items here. Open the transponder. I think that's what that said. Alright, so I'm sliding over. Slide the console to beam them aboard, so I have to pull and then let go, release the summon. Okay, I have new crew. Starfleet Klingon Wharf Rare. In the comments, let me know if Cardassian, if I'm even pronouncing it right, is it pronounced Cardassian or Kardashian like Kim and Courtney Kardashian? Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. For all the Star Trek fans out there. And maybe you're role-playing game fans too, so this would be the perfect sort of combination here. Okay, so it looks like Mikhail's a little bit unsure about Worf, but they're on the same side here. So, and again, there's probably an ongoing, you know, sort of joke here with Worf that I'm unaware of since I don't watch the movies or the show Star Trek. So. 
a mean on the inside joke if I'm mistaken. So you can taunt. Taunting will, do, you know, will lower. I guess the defense of uh, of the enemy. So okay, brings the morale down after doing that taunt. Get my guy lined up here. Kale is a shooter for real. Look at that. Ooh, Death Strike, I think that was. So Mikhail's still trying to figure out what's going on here. So she wants to get the engineering and shut down the warp core. So I can select and hold a character to see their skills while in battle. Head to the Cardassian warp core is our next stop. All right, so this is the Cardassian ship. Warp is saying the technology is not too much more advanced than what we already have. Mikhail's saying, what's a Cardassian? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so there's bonus missions depending on how we approach the game. Uh, all I have to do is click on disable here. Oh, that was easier than what I thought. Was the Cardassian morale. Alright, so we have an incoming for our next combat. We're going to decide to engage in combat. We should get a little combat alert here, which is nice of them. More loading. So there's a decent amount of kind of loading back and forth here that the game makes you aware of. So you don't think your system is freezing up. So she's speaking to Artemis. I think Artemis is in her little earpiece. Saying we're ready to get out of here. Okay, yeah, lowering morale reduces their attack. So their morale is low. We destabilize the warp core. Okay, telling them to stand down also lowers morale. Okay. They can make them flee combat as well if the morale gets too low. Alright, so not bad. We got a little death blow or death strike from Worf. He's taking some damage there. Alright, but Mikhail is a shooter. She proves it once again. Mission success. More loading. This this game is. This game is, is okay. Um, there seems to be a decent amount of loading back and forth. I mean, obviously in any role-playing game you're going to have that. It just kind of, I don't know, it just seems like it's more acknowledged or kind of, I don't know. In your face, I guess, the load times and the load screens. It's not as subtle as it is in the other games. I just reviewed... Um, Fantasia not too long ago, another role-playing game, and yeah, there, like, obviously there's loading in that, the graphics are a little bit better in that game, but you're not as, aw as aware for the load times. Okay, well it looks like we are picking up another um, individual to our party. So we have Leonard McCoy, Rare, Human Starfleet, continue, damage him with Doctor, not a blank, I like I've heard that reference, but I don't know exactly where that's from. Uh, leave uh, leave a comment, I guess. Tell me know where that exact sort of uh, joke or reference is from, or how it, how it's supposed to end. Okay, Mikhail, briefing Doctor McCoy. So then McCoy is a doctor. So it'll probably be our healer, more than likely. OK, 
Okay, so let's open up our roster. So we can take a look at who we got on our team as of now. So Mikhail Burnham. This is who I found in the Nexus so far. Collect items to upgrade your crew member's level and rank or proto matter. To increase skill, I think that said. Okay, biomimetic gel. Helps us level up, it looks like here. Thank you, Doctor. So, yeah, Dr. McCoy's giving us some healing tips and upgrade tips here. Okay, we have a distress call, so we're going to beam down. And it looks like Cardassians will be waiting for us when we get down there. Okay, breaching the defense. Leonard McCoy is going to join us. Add McCoy to your team. I think we will. It's the dream team, baby. Okay, so we're waiting, we're, we are awaiting our orders. I think the game's gonna force us to do the intel section first. It won't let me click on anything else, so clicking on intel here. Okay, there are life signs and energy readings. Could be the Cardassians. We're also looking for Starfleet crew. So this is a, this is essentially a rescue mission. Let's pick up some resources first here. I think it is what that says. I've located supplies that were left behind the car by the Cardassians. Okay, so we got a supply box. Latinum, medical proto matter, upgrade your crew. Alright, so Latinum is probably like a gold or whatever it is. And again, I'm new to the whole Star Trek, you know, universe. So I'm, I'm sure these, you know, items have been referenced before within the, in the show and the, in the movies. Alright, so just another battle to start here. We're going to battle it out with Cardassian security another time. Dr. McCoy's telling them to stand down. And they're firing on us, so it looks like we got to fight. Ooh, okay. An attack that hits all of us there. Okay, so Mikhail is our shooter. Use combat healing. Okay, yeah, so McCoy can heal us. Being prompted to select McCoy's scan healer thingy. Oh, it just does it over his little device. Alright. Okay, so I think this is bringing my review to an end. Game looks pretty clean. Um, you know, nothing to jump up and down about, but if you're a Star Trek fan, I'm sure you would enjoy this. If you enjoyed my video here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's any specific games you want me to review. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.